in the building construction constructing the main structure of the building is very important in addition to that to make the building functional another important thing is water supply so without proper water supply the building cannot be functional if you take any type of structure whether it is a commercial residential or educational building or storage building water supply plays a major important role in the function of the building as we know we provide storage water tank to store water for the main functioning of the building what we do when we have a fire accident do we need to provide separate water storage for the fire safety we need to think about it as an engineer we need to think about it considering the fire safety we do need to store water separately to make use of it at the time of fire emergency so it is the engineer's responsibility to take care of the water demand for fire safety in this video let's discuss about the water capacity requirement for the domestic usage and for fire fighting usage and how we can store the water in the underground tank how much percentage of water we can store in the underground tank as well as in the overhead tank as per mbc 2016 so without further delay let's begin now to start with let's divide the water capacity into domestic water demand and then fire fighting water demand we have two volumes in nbc 2016 according to that we need to find out what is the domestic water demand and what is the fire fighting water demand per person per day the water capacity will be in liter so how much liter of water is required per person per day let's consider a residential building we need to refer nbc 2016 volume 2 in volume 2 part 9 is for plumbing services so in this section 1 is specifically for water supply class number 4 is specifying the water supply requirement for buildings in 4.1.1 we have water supply for residences minimum of 70 to 100 liter per head per day may be considered adequate for domestic needs of urban communities so this is the data we require 70 to 100 liter per head per day they have divided into categories for communities with population up to 20000 water supply through stand posts that is 40 liter per head minimum requirement water supply through house service connection 7200 liter per head for communities with population 20000 to 1 lakh together with full flushing system 100 to 135 liter per head these data we need in order to find out the water capacity for communities with population above 1 lakh together with full flushing system 150 to 200 liter per head we have a note over here the value of water supply given as 150 to 200 liter per head per day may be reduced to 135 liter per head per day for houses for medium income group and low income groups generally we can consider the water supply for residential building is 135 liter per head per day as per nbc 2016 volume 2 we are considering the water supply demand as 135 liter per head per day let's consider 50 people so for 50 people we require 6750 liters per day this is the total capacity of the water per day for the residential building of the occupancy of 50 people so here our responsibility is to design the tank design the tank dimensions to store the water up to 6750 liters minimum water capacity we need to divide into domestic water demand and then fire fighting water demand since it is a small residential building we are not considering the fire fighting demand suppose if we have a hospital or school we need to consider the domestic water demand as well as the fire Air fighting water demand. Let's take an example of a hospital building. For this, we need to find out the domestic water requirement as well as the fire fighting water requirement. Let's look into NBC 2016 Volume 2. The condition is number of bed not exceeding 100. Hospital building we have in that the number of beds are not exceeding 100. In NBC 2016 Volume 2 Part 9. table 1 water requirement for building other than residences we know the water capacity requirement for residences so in this table 
other than residences the water capacity has been given this has been subdivided into two categories one is domestic capacity in liter and then flushing per day in liter and the total consumption per day is also given we have hospital building number of bed not exceeding 100 this is the case which we are interested in so in this case we have the domestic water demand as 230 liter per head per day next flushing water demand is 110 liter per head per day so we have the total consumption of 340 liter per head per day overall we have 340 liter per head per day this includes the domestic water demand as well as the flushing water demand consider this a hospital building can accommodate 250 people we require 85,000 liter per day now we need to think about the storage of the water we need to store this water in underground tank as well as in the overhead tank so this provision we are going to use that is given in the class 4.4 storage of water to provide against interruptions of supply caused by repair to mains etc to reduce the maximum rate of demand on the mains to tide over periods of intermittent supply and maintain a storage for the firefighting requirement of the building so for the these reasons we need to store the water in underground tank as well as in the over overhead tank. The water may be stored in overhead tank and underground tank. Let's see how we can divide this capacity of water to store in underground tank and overhead tank. There are some provisions given in NBC 2016 volume 2. Let's look into it. In case of intermittent water supply, the following guidelines should be adopted for calculation of capacity. When the water supply is from main OHT, the capacity of individual OHT may be taken as half a day demand. In case of all other building, the capacity of UGT and OHT may be taken as one and half days and, and half a day demand. This half a day demand refers to, for example, if we need to store the water of 1000 liters, 500 liters is a half a day demand. 50% of that, the total water capacity we need to store. In addition to that, it is given as for additional requirement of water storage for firefighting purposes, reference may be made to part 4 fire safety and life safety of the code. So that is given in volume 1 of NBC 2016. In the note, it is given as in case of combined storage is provided, it may be taken as 66% UGT and 33%, 33.33% OHT of one day's requirement. We know one day's requirement, water capacity requirement and in that 66.6% .6 needs to be stored in the underground tank and 33% 0.33% needs to be stored in the overhead tank. We have 85,000 liter per day. Let's divide this percentage. In UGT 66.6% 6 and overhead tank 33.3%. If we calculate it, we get 56,610 liters in underground tank and 28,330 liters needs to be stored in the overhead tank. Next, let's look into the fire fighting water requirement. For this, we need to refer NBC 2016 Volume 1. In Volume 1, Part 4 is for fire and life safety. And then we have Table 7, which is for minimum requirements for firefighting installations. So, type of building is given here. If we look into the hospital building, for educational building and institutional building, we have hospitals here. Type of occupancy we need to check. Up to ground plus one story with bed, the details are given in this table. So let's consider this case, ground plus two or more stories with bed. Because initially we have taken the case as number of bed not exceeding 100. So we need to consider with bed. The type of installation is given here. And then if you look into the water supply requirement, underground tank and then terrace tank over the respective tower terrace. Underground tank and then terrace tank details are given. For this case, let's consider underground capacity storage capacity is 75,000 liter and then overhead tank capacity is 10,000 liters. So this we need to consider. Underground we need to take 75,000 and then overhead we need to take 10,000 liters. UGT it is 75,000 liter as per NBC 2016 volume 1 and overhead tank 10,000 liters needs to be stored for firefighting water requirement. 
let's look into the total storage in underground tank that is including domestic and then firefighting requirement 36610 liters for domestic requirement and 75000 liter is for firefighting requirement oh 28330 is the firefighting domestic requirement and 10000 is for firefighting requirement when we provide the water storage in the overhead tanks always we make sure that the firefighting storage tank needs to be filled first and then the domestic water tank needs to be filled if you take this total you get 1,31,000 610 liters anyway in overhead tank we are going to provide separate tanks for this domestic requirement and then firefighting requirement now we know the firefighting capacity water capacity is 10000 liters if you consider the domestic requirement it is 28330 liter so this we can divide into four parts four number of tanks instead of providing 28330 liters in a single tank we can provide four number of tanks of each capacity 7000 liters let's calculate the tank dimensions for 10000 liter capacity and then 7000 liter capacity let's provide 3 meter by 2.5 meter by 1.5 meter is the depth of the tank so total we get 11.225 meter cube so this is the capacity of the tank that is 11.25 meter cube if you convert into liter the conversion factor is 1 meter cube which is equal to 1000 liters so let's multiply 11.25 with 1000 you get 11250 liters See, in fact we have little bit extra so that is fine so in this way you can calculate the tank capacity let's calculate the tank capacity capacity for 7000 liter let's provide this tank size of 2.5 meter by 2 meter by 1.5 meter 1.5 meter is the 5 meter is the height of the tank we get 7.5 meter cube we convert this into liters you will get 7000 500 liter which is good enough to store the water of 7000 liter capacity so this is how you have to find out the water capacity and then water tank dimensions and storage capacity of underground tank and then overhead tank if you all like this video please do comment in the comment box if you like the content hit the like button also share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos